Joining me now is Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn, a member of the Senate Judiciary, Finance, Commerce, and Veterans Affairs Committees. Senator, it's good to see you. Thanks very much for being here today. I want to get into so many issues that we've been covering this morning. But first, give us your initial uh, observations and expectations for the debate tomorrow night. What you're going to see, I think, is Joe Biden is going to be prepared. He is going to try to defend his record. We fully expect that he already has all of the questions and is trying to prep answers for those. But, Maria, what you're going to have from President Trump is the answers to all of these questions on the border, on inflation. He is going to be well prepared and he will be in charge. I think he's going to have a very good debate and I'm looking forward to him talking with the American people on Thursday, reminding them what life was like when he was president and reminding them about the weak failed, incompetent administration of Joe Biden. Well, I mean, weak, incompetent, uh, you might also add corrupt. I mean, look at this story that's that, that's coming yes. out this morning from the intelligence community. Internal emails obtained by the House Judiciary Committee revealed that the CIA may have been coordinating with the Biden campaign before the 2020 election to make Hunter Biden's laptop look like Russian disinformation. We've got the Intelligence Community 51 report. I've got it right in front of me. And it says the Intelligence Community 51, yep. how CIA contractors colluded with the Biden campaign to mislead American voters. The New York Post follows up with a piece uh, titled Spies Who Lie Leader. Co-signers were CIA contractors when they falsely implied Hunter Biden laptop was Russian fake. Senator, your thoughts. And Chairman Turner and the guys in the House have done a wonderful service to the American people by bringing this forward and showing that these former intel officers and officials who were then on contract to the CIA actually used their power and position to go in there and concoct this story. This is how fearful they were of Donald Trump. And Maria, it shows you why we need to drain the swamp, why these individuals need to have those security clearances pulled. Every single one of them need to be barred from ever working with the CIA or the federal government. It is one of the reasons that the American people don't trust this administration and don't trust these government agencies. Well, I mean, look, we continue to see things like this happen because there's never any accountability. I mean, you're an elected yes. official. Can you do anything about right. this in terms of holding people to account? They did it with the Russia collusion story. They lied over and over again. They pursued this investigation of President Trump, spied on a sitting president, despite the having no evidence whatsoever of any collusion with Russia. They followed up again and did it with the Hunter Biden laptop and misled the American people during the election. What are we waiting for? Why can't elected officials like yourself move the needle on this? And we have seen the House move the needle on this because it's under Republican control. The Senate is under Democrat control. Yep. And we continue to raise the issue and talk about the issue and having President Trump in the White House and Republican control of the Senate with the House will give us the opportunity to push these issues forward. See, Merrick Garland at DOJ will do nothing with this. And as members of Congress, we cannot try people. We can't indict people. We cannot convict people. And it is going to be up to the DOJ to do that. And I'm grateful the House has built this uh, this record that needs to be gone after in these individuals. And my hope is that President Donald Trump will focus on government reform and removing some of these people who have politicized and weaponized the federal government, not only against him, but against thousands of American citizens. Well, a 2022 Biden appointee to the U.S. Commission for the Preservation of America's Heritage Abroad reportedly played an instrumental role in recruiting Chinese businesses to Delaware. For the last two decades, Michael Marquat has been advising international companies, and he recently helped the Delaware Prosperity Partnership recruit dozens of Chinese businesses to invest in the state, Delaware. Marquat has donated tens of thousands of dollars to Biden's campaign and is married to a former top aide of 
of then Senator Biden. Senator Blackburn, you know, you look at this story and, and you have to question the motivations here because of the bad behavior of the Chinese Communist Party, right? I mean, you've done so much work on Communist China, Senator. You know, they have a, a massive surveillance program in place, surveilling American citizens and American business. They have been stealing intellectual property from American businesses for decades, costing $600 billion at a minimum for corporate America. They unleashed COVID, you know, unwittingly or not, okay, then tried right. to cover it up. They're flowing fentanyl into America and killing our people. They're creating... Um, unrest. Uh, 50,000, uh, we understand, uh, Chinese nationals have come into the border in the last year. What's going right. on? What is going on is China knows that Joe Biden, who has been their defender in chief for decades, Maria, he's been with them for decades. He voted in the 90s for them to have most favored nation status. He supported them going to the WTO. He has always championed them saying, we should want China to rise. That is a Joe Biden quote. Now, this is what he has wanted is to see them rise. And so they know that they've got running room under Joe Biden. He is not going to hold them to account. They have desperately wanted to buy American companies, buy American farmland, spy on us. We all remember the spy balloon floating, waltzing across the country. And he has done nothing because he has championed them and has a five-decade record yeah. of being their defender. Yeah, well, it's uh, certainly a, a story that seems to get worse every day. Senator, I know you're out with a new op-ed in yes, the Washington it Times. It's called Cyber Threats, sponsored by Chinese Communist Party. Congress must pass Routers Act. You recently introduced the Routers Act, which you say is, quote, crucial legislation yes. that would require the Commerce Department to review the national security threat posed by any router that is designed, developed, manufactured, or supplied by a company under the jurisdiction of China, as well as U.S. adversaries, Russia, Iran, North Korea, Cuba, and Venezuela. Senator, why would we be using Chinese routers? I mean... Are you serious? Yes. Yes, there are some routers that are in our system. And Maria, you and I have talked so many times about the need for a clean and secure network. And your audience, people that are running companies that are trying to make certain that they are not getting hacked, that their critical supply chains are not being interrupted. And they want to make certain they have a clean network. What we need commerce to do is to do a study and make certain that we are not seeing infiltration into our supply chain and into these systems that would then make our communication system less secure, yeah. that would make our critical infrastructure less secure. And as we look at transportation and electric vehicles and uh, some of the monitoring that is being done. This is going to be a necessity, so let's not yeah. put this off. Let's put it on the table and let's start addressing well, it. Well, I'm so glad you wrote about this, Senator, because it's so important. I just want to point out one thing. In the NDAA, yeah. recently passed or, or discussed, debated, uh, there was a line in that uh, National Defense Authorization Act that prohibited certain Chinese companies from working with American telecom companies because of this very reason. What it failed to do is rip out the existing networking that's already embedded in our economy. Isn't that right? Why, why not really fix the problem and rip out what, what yes. is existing right now in America? There's a ton of cameras in America right now, and they're Chinese cameras. They're surveilling us at every turn. That is correct. And when you look at Huawei and ZTE, we have been able to remove a lot of that, but there's more that needs to be done. Senator, it's great to see you this morning. Thanks so much for your work. Of course, we'll be watching. Good Senator to see you. Marsha Blackburn in Tennessee. We'll be right back.